What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, it means a brand new how-to video for you guys. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to optimize your YouTube channel. So if you guys are excited for that, and if you want to optimize your channel today, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new as well for more videos. And let's get started right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we are on my second channel that I haven't been using for quite a while and right now we're going to use this channel as an example of, for example, yours that needs to be optimized. And if your channel is already optimized, guys, make sure to keep watching because there is a lot of things more covering in this video. As you can see, we're on the dashboard and I'm going to go to the channel button on the very left because we need to optimize a couple settings in order to, you know, make our channel like more branding and all that so right here on the left it says status and features now this is actually not really something to look at for now because these are just basically the features that we have so nothing comes down to optimizing your channel on this so we're gonna go to upload default because we're gonna skip monetization first because you need to be a YouTube partner and guys I also want to mention that if you're still still waiting for your application to be approved YouTube recently stated a uh, statement where they said all right we're gonna actually slow down the process of letting people in the YouTube partner program because they're like having less employees working over at YouTube because of the whole coronavirus thing so that's on one side is understandable but that is basically a topic for another video so let's go to the upload default section on the very left right here this is basically where you need to pay attention to a couple things so obviously the first one is the privacy that's basically like the default status of what your video is going to be when you upload it is it public is it like unlisted i would say to make it private first because in, if you're uploading a video you need to fill in title description tags thumbnails settings if it's a paid promotion the category you not want to do that when the video is already live so we're going to do that beforehand so so right now we're going to put this one to private and then on the category it depends on a lot of things if you're a gaming channel you obviously want to pick gaming if you are a live stream channel i would just pick entertainment like that's the most general topic for that if you're a channel about like making songs or making music you want obviously pick music it is pretty straightforward just think like what category is your channel and you just want to pick your appropriate category for that so i'm uploading like tutorials and all that so mine is like how to in style so right here the title you you cannot really fill in anything because you have to think about when like every video has a different title so you cannot use any like default titles but when it comes to the description you can actually so if you're gonna bring down this menu for a second so we can see what's in there so right here it is very important to make your video rank as high as possible in the search result nonetheless of all the other competition you want to make sure that you have 90% of the words in your title you want to have that within the first three lines of your description so let's say that I'm going to upload a video about Vegas Pro, how to edit drone footage, for example. If you want to go ahead and make your video rank as high as possible, make sure you have these keywords in the first three lines. So right now I'm going to say, for example, today I'm going to show you how to edit drone footage in Vegas Pro 17. So if you pay attention, these five words are actually also right here in the top of the description. And that's basically kind of like an SEO thing. And everything that follows, you can just uh, type in what you want. Like if you enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe. Make sure to smash the like button below as well. Stick around for more awesome content. So you can actually fill in what you like. I wouldn't re really recommend a description that's like that's like twice as long. I would think maybe like maybe three to five lines max would be actually perfect so below that we can also promote our content for example your latest video so this is obviously your newest one if you're uploading you just want to put the latest video link in the description down below and I have like a mystery video so people are wondering oh what is the mystery video of today they click on it and it's just like a video from maybe another playlist or another you know series anything like that and that's because why it's like a mystery video people don't really know what it is below that we also have a subscribe button now also below that we can add in our social media Facebook Twitter Instagram, Twitch, 
which you can also add in Snapchat or any other profile you have. And then below that, it is also very important that you credit all the music that you're using, whether it's copyrighted or not, you want to make sure that you add your credits. So I want to also mention that if you're using copyrighted material or copyrighted music in particular, giving credits in the description is not going to take away the claim or that matched third party content ID claim that you will receive. Copyrighted means copyrighted. Giving that song credits in the description down below is not going to take away that claim, just to clarify. Okay, so as you can see below that, we have the intro song and then I just have the title and the link and that that's also what NCS wants if you want to use their song. And then the outro song, it says basically still got to find or still got to look. So that this channel is like a couple of years old. It, I think I, I stopped using it at like 2018 when I wanted to focus more on this channel where you're watching this video on. Um, and then you can also go up below and fill in your tags. Now, this is really important. You want to separate your tags with commas. So let's say that you're uploading a Vegas Pro tutorial. You want to basically fill in Vegas Pro, comma, Vegas Pro 17. And then you want to, uh, for example, do it like this, added drone footage, drone footage, drones, flying drone, editing video, how to tag all that related tags to your video, obviously. And then right here, you can allow comments and ratings. For example, if you want to have people comment on your videos, and if some people may use like offensive language, you can also choose like whole potentially inappropriate comments for review. You can also like make sure if you enable the likes or the dislikes. And if you're a YouTube partner, you can monetize them with ads, overlay, skippable, sponsored cards, mid-roll ads. That's all up to you. I think I would just leave them all checked. That's the best option and also the ad breaks and right here the video language is also important let's say that you have like a dutch channel you obviously want to pick to dutch whether you're making videos in france in german or anything like that i make videos in english obviously so i have this one set to english the community contributions is basically an option where you can allow viewers to contribute translated titles descriptions and subtitles so they can actually translate your video when it comes to the title description and the tags so let's say that you translate your content and you made a mistake for example in another language because you don't really know how to write it and for example german or hindi or whatever you can allow viewers to adjust that so it's actually correct that's a really cool feature i would actually check mark that one the caption verification is actually nothing really too special because none of our content is aired on tv anything like that and the video statistics i would leave that checked off because then people are actually seeing like how much money you made on that specific video or how many subscribers you gained or lost or how many views it got in the last 24 hours so you know all that stuff i would just make the i would just uncheck that and keep that private okay so now that we made the uh, the proper changes i'm going to delete the title uh, right here real quick and also the description i'm going to put that one back to how it was so then we're going to hit save at the top so we will actually don't lose any of our progress that we just made okay so now our changes were saved and let's go to the branding option below the upload defaults now this is basically where you can add in your logo or an avatar or anything i would just basically load in a subscribe button because then people are more likely to subscribe but you can also so just load in your logo or anything that you like and i would also pick that for the entire video and not only the end or like the custom start time i would just pick entire video and then you want to hit update okay so the last settings are the advanced settings below the branding okay so right here it is actually pretty straightforward you want to pick the country that you're in you're not want to pick the country like where the views were coming from or anything no this is about your channel and this is about you specifically in which country you are actually living okay so then we have the channel keywords now this is basically if people type in certain keywords, for example, video editing, YouTube will actually like recommend your channel at the top or anything. If people are looking in the categories of channels and they're typing in video editing, your channel is more likely to pop up if you type in, for example, video editing Vegas Pro Adobe Audition because I made these tutorials in Audition in the past, Audacity deep web all these kind of things you want to just fill that in because that's actually pretty important so then we just want to leave this one unchecked because we will we will actually want to have ads displaying on our channel that are interest based we don't have an adwords account we just want to leave that you can also link your website if you want to click on allow my channel to appear in other channels recommendations i would do that because if somebody's watching an editing channel and that channel has this feature also turned on your channel can be popped up and then people can click through to your channel and that's 
that's also a way to optimize it and get seen and get noticed. And then you can also choose if you want to keep your subscriber account public or not. So that's totally up to you. So then we're going to hit save at the very bottom. And now our channel is basically optimized, guys. So beside all these settings, I would optimize your channel even more with like a good profile picture, a good banner. And let's go to our channel for a second. Okay, so right here, as you can see, we want to have a nice banner as well. We have a profile picture. We have our social media icons right here. And that's actually pretty, pretty important. I'm going to show you how to get these icons. So right here, we're going to click on customize channel. And then if you go to the about section at the very bottom, we can actually load in our social media accounts. So let's click on this icon right here. And then you want to just basically fill in subscribe, for example, then you want to hit your subscribe link in there. You just want to type in Facebook, go to facebook.com slash just Alex Halford, Twitter, twitter.com slash Alex Halford, Instagram, you know how it works. And then it will automatically generate these Facebook and Instagram and Twitter icons, and it will automatically put that up there below your banner. So right here, you can also fill in your description on YouTube. So you can also edit that real simple by clicking on that icon. And then you can type in, for example, on this channel, you can expect all kinds of videos you can't miss out. Subscribe to get notified when I upload a new video. So right here, it says Facebook, obviously, all my social media pages, business inquiries. Thank you for stopping by. And then we have just my name at the very bottom. And that's really, really important to have a good channel description as well. So guys, that's it for this video. Now you can go ahead and optimize your channel. Now, if this video went by too fast, make sure to just rewind it, pause it, fill in the appropriate information, take your time to think about the tags and the keywords that you're going to fill in your channel because they have to match your channel because you're not going to fill in, for example, like makeup keywords when you're a gaming channel because makeup content have a lot of views. It doesn't work that way. It has to fit your channel. So like I've mentioned, if it went by too fast, just do it step by step and pause it. And that's it. So if you find this video helpful, guys, make sure to reward it with a like down below. I'll catch you guys obviously tomorrow in a brand new Vegas tutorial as always on Wednesday. Stay safe, guys, with the whole coronavirus thing. Take care of each other and I'll see you guys tomorrow.